rain or no rain blackouts or no blackouts we will continue recording the history of administration police cannot be complete without the mention of two of its, its heads one of them is major retired shadrach muyo major retired shadrach muyo little is known about him up to 1969 when there were riots especially in Nairobi concerning the death of Tom Boyer the then government of Mzee Jomo Kenyatta called in the army and he was in charge of a company in the army we have a battalion which is headed by a lieutenant colonel and we have a company the battalion is divided into several companies a b c d just like the gsu a b c d there is uh, the headquarters there is the signal and so on so he headed a company he was of the rank of major and it is his company that was called to quench the riot immediately after the riot for tomboya he was called upon to modernize the administration police some years back the administration police had been called tribal police if you scroll down a year or so ago i had written the history of of uh, administration police i'll try not to repeat it uh he was called upon by the time he was called upon it was already it had already changed its name from tribal police to administration police he was called upon to modernize it and make it a bit better those days district officers were being trained at KIA Kabete KIA Kabete is now known as Kenya School of Government so if you are if you had graduated from the university and was made a DO you'd be taken to KIA Kabete and be be trained there and then you become a DO it is during his time that the DOs were now taken to Embakasi where they would trained as DOs and so there was a lot of paramilitary uh, syllabus that was added to that uh, uh, any paramilitary syllabus was, tra- was placed in their syllabus again that is the time when he when he was the commandant of the ap now he when he was the commandant of ap where he he said that chiefs should also have some training so the chiefs were you know those days chiefs would be just be selected and becomes the chief and stays in that area he felt that the chiefs should have a centralized place of training uh, where chiefs are started now training because there was now the aptc at embakasi uh, and he said that since all dios dcs chiefs aps all fell under provincial administration he said that the administration police training college should not just be a training college for administration police officers it should also be for administrators from assistant chief 
chief and Dio. He is the one who started that. Uh, before that, and even during his time, there was only one commandant. There was the commandant at APTC, who was the college commandant. But later on, after he had left service, we then had a force commandant and college commandant. And then the college commandant, his rank was a deputy force commandant. Force commandant was one with two deputies, one with him at the Harambe House, and another one was at Mbakasi, being the commandant of the college. So he modernized them with the training, uh, a syllabus. You know, before him, APs used to learn only three. Uh, they only had the three law subjects. They used to learn Chiefs Act, Administration Police Act, and the Penal Code. He expanded that. With the training, they used to only handle uh, Mark IV. Mark IV, for those who are not in the military or those who do not know, is that kind of a gun. What one item Mwiko. So they were, in today's language, you could say they were home guards. In, in fact, today's home guards have got better weapons, but they were just like home guards who were. And again, a, a piece during those days, even during Muya's time, your certificate of appointment only indicated the district you are to operate from. If you are transferred from one district to another, you surrendered your certificate of appointment and then you are given another. It is Major Muya who introduced the rank of Inspector of Administration Police. The first team of, of inspectors in the Administration Police were a class of 25 people. 25 inspectors. These 25 inspectors, uh, that was 1978. Uh, by 1982, they were all chief inspectors. And in, that was 1982. In 1987, they attended uh, an SP course. Now in Kiganjo, superintendent's course is called HTC higher training college higher training course but uh, in in AP it is called senior training course now the first senior training course was so confusing that the, the very same people who had attended inspectors course in 1978 were the very same one who are now uh, att attending H senior training course in 1987 it was so confusing because most of the time they, they they were placed in lorries and they would go around the districts where the DCs were told to teach them and DCs were confused on what to teach them it is Major Muya who did all this development and he carried the AP force ahead I'm not sure whether he's the one who brought about this Waminifu Nahaki. But even during his time, the AP did not have a flag. You can see when you go to a place, you'll find the AP have a flag. But those days, they did not have a flag. They did not have vehicles. But he modernized it to a very large extent. He is one of the two people who developed APs. He would train... He, he, his badges of rank, his epaulets, were like that of a district commissioner. Although you can see from the cap, he, he, his cap, he was like, a, he was putting on the, 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 the cap of, from assistant commissioner of police to deputy commissioner of police. He was putting on a similar cap, but uh, the head badge, crown, was that of a DC. Uh, he was retired from the army, then he went and headed the AP, whereby the commandant and the deputy commandant who both wore the same ranks, that one over DC. Now, before he introduced the rank of inspector, 
you know, you know he was uh, a retired army Kenya army major and uh, on the other side there was the head of the GSU training school the head of GSU training school was uh, also I'm a retired military officer from SAS there is a special army service in Britain called SAS and he was called major retired uh, Bob, Mal Bob, Bob Morgan he was major retired Bob Morgan he's the one who was the commandant of APTC and since they were both retired majors and you'd find that some lessons inspectors from GSU'd cross over and train the APs that is when they opened a small uh, fence. Uh, there is a small fence, very tiny, uh, like that, uh, like half the door. And you find that uh, for you to enter APTC from GSU training school and vice versa, you, do, you, you did not need to go out, uh, out of the gate and then come through the other gate. You just use that. That is where the friendship between the two started. Viewers, that for you is a major muya. As per the time of recording this, he was still alive.